Good evening, everybody. It's 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 uh it's your old distinguished pal, old Cappy here. And uh, why am I talking like this? This is bourbon. Bourbon is not really a distinctive, you know, a fancy boy liquor. Uh, <laughs> this Jim Beam uh, apple liquor, or apple apple uh, bourbon. Uh, what is bourbon? Bourbon is whiskey. Oh, but is it really that simple? Eh, kind of. Um, the thing about bourbon is it's made in Kentucky, and to qualify it as bourbon, I guess it has to be made in Bourbon County, Kentucky. Um, and Jim Beam is one of the, uh, big names in that. Uh, my old boss really liked Jim Beam. He, uh, he, he took a tour of the factory before the virus outbreak, I think. Anyway, uh, I picked the Apple one. Why did I pick the Apple one? Because I, I like Apple. <laughs> I guess I should have chose the original flavor first before I, you know, dove into other flavors. But I know what whiskey tastes like. You know what whiskey tastes like. So how does Jim Beam do with apple? And I kind of wanted to go into the um, the process they say online. Because their website's actually quite nice. They uh, they do go into a bit of, bit of depth of uh, how they brew their stuff, you know, uh... So whiskey, or bourbon whiskey, is 51% corn, and then rye and malted barley. And what they do is they distill it twice, and Jim Beam likes to toot their horn and say that they, uh, they age it in oak barrels twice as long as legally provided. Which, you know, that just tells me uh, they like to age their whiskey. <laughs> Uh, the the bottle is pretty neat. I mean, I mean, Jack Daniels kind of has this look as well. And you got the uh, genuine beam whiskey. It's beam. Use the, use the laser beam. Enjoy chilled. Um, I'm not enjoying it chilled. I'm sorry. I might throw some ice into this mix later, but I'm just here to tell you what it tastes like uh, up front and all that. Uh, the apple, the apple picture really caught my eye. It's very crisp looking, and it's green apple. It's not some Macintosh apple or whatever. It's, uh, I guess, Granny Smith. I suppose it is. I don't actually know. It doesn't actually, does it say? Oh, there's a little testimonial on the side. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, crisp and refreshing, it says up top. Uh, apple liqueur infused with Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Um... So what that tells me is they they don't actually they might use apples in this, I don't know, but it's kinda like if you already took like razzmatazz. Ooh, I have razzmatazz. Well, I'll show it to you. I won't show it to you, but you know what it is. It's like um you know what? It's right here. I'll do it. So if they made a raspberry Jim Beam, it's like they poured this into the whiskey. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's what this is. Well, that's what the little testimonial thing tells me. Uh, signed by Jim Beam himself. James Beam. Um, not genuine without my signature. Ooh. Uh, this is 35% alcohol by volume, 65 proof. So, I mean, it's not... I've had, like, 90 proof stuff, so this isn't super high. Probably have a few shots of this before I start feeling woozy. Um, oh, let's read it. Let's bring it. Legacy. Jim Beam Apple contains all the pride of the Beam family's 220-year history with a refreshing take on a family family tradition. Oh yeah, they've been they've been around since like Kentucky was a state apparently. So that's pretty that's pretty good legacy. Uh our distillers have infused fine crisp apple liqueur with Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. The perfect mix of bourbon balanced with light, refreshing apple twist. Enjoy with the soda or on the rocks. So I'm going to enjoy this on the rocks. At least right now. I don't have any soda. I don't even know what kind of soda I'd put this with. Cola? I mean, apple whiskey with, like, like club soda? I, I don't know. Uh, made with quality whiskey. And there's this on this side. Jim Beam Distilling Co., Beam, Claremont, Frankfort, Kentucky, USA. Enjoy chilled. I'm not going to do that again. And there's the government warning right there. Um, 
that's that's it on this thing. And I mean, the the top has his signature and stuff too. So let's pour it into my little glass. I wish I f chilled the glass first. That's a shame. I didn't think about that. But I didn't know I was gonna do this today. I was gonna do it. I was gonna do it last week. You don't know when last week was because this video is probably gonna go out on like Wednesday or something. But I was gonna do this like when I had my little vacation time. But I didn't get around to it. But oh well, no big deal. Let's crack that seal and pour a bit in my glass. How's my glass on camera? Let's pour it in. There's that amazing sound. Alcohol pouring. Ooh, that's. That apple smell is pretty potent. I can smell it from all the way over here. And, like, if if you want to know, like, here's my, like, hand. It's about, like, four or five hand lengths to the right or left, rather, um, that that I can smell this. My head's ha over here. Uh, it's, it smells like apple, I'll tell you that. Oops. I must put it in the shot. Color is quite brown. <laughs> I guess it's amber. Not so much amber. It's more tan brown almost. You can see the color. Um, smells very sour apple like. Like 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 Jolly Rancher <laughs> sour apple. I'm kind of going to... I think I'm going to enjoy this actually. If, if that's the smell. I, I like it. I, I like the smell. <laughs> Let's have a sip. That is interesting. Oh, but it burns. <laughs> that burns on the way down. Um, so, it's very sweet. Like, abnormally sweet. I was not expecting this to be this sweet. Ooh. Um, so, you c it opens up with, like, a very sweet taste. Way sweeter than I expected, like, a sour apple kind of Granny Smith kind of apple would be. And then it um it does transition to that like sour apple kind of flavor. And you know what? The funny thing is, this is what I was kind of hoping that the G Fuel green apple would taste like. Um, you know, the kind of candied version Jolly Rancher, but it also has that like kind of oaky taste from whiskey. And then it burns. It has that alcohol burn that, you know. <laughs> alcohol it has and it, it's kind of nice it goes down it goes down pretty smooth I'm, I mean like I said it does have a little burn but that's like an after effect and you know all alcohol that has that um definitely would want to taste this with like a ice ice might help that burn out a little bit um I can see that oh man if you mix this with like a club soda you could have like a whiskey soda like, it's a soda that's like a whiskey with this green apple flavor. It's definitely an interesting choice. I like it. I like it. I dig it. I dig it. Um, let me have another sip just to get it in my head one more time. It's so weird. Like, the okay, the sweetness is reminiscent of, like, a vanilla very vanilla like and then it transitions into an apple flavor the tartness of that green apple i don't know i think i think of they have a honey the honey version of this i'm very interested to see what that's like so i'm gonna have to get that next time but this is nice this is this is quite good um definitely recommend it if it's if you hate sour you might not like this one so much because that it is more of like a the puckery kind of, not so much a natural green apple, but it's definitely like a puckery sour candy green apple flavor. Yeah, I'll give this a um, I'll get I'll give this I'll give this um, I'll give this a sea shanty out of rad. Yeah, it's nice. Totally tried this one again. I'm happy with it.